way. I have my notes pad here and a pen. Colgate told me I'm gonna need to take some notes. Her story. <clears throat> the Harry Potter sex thing is over for now. Get 10 more subs, I will give you another chapter. I'll try and put these up on YouTube as well, uh, the previous chapters. All right. I know, I know next to nothing about this except one, full motion, two, heard it's real good, three, uh, the, the BAFTAs were all up in arms about it for some reason. It might be, I don't know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You didn't say the magic word. What? Okay. You are logged in, auth guest. Enter query to access archived footage. Search terms murder. Four entries found. Clips stored in user session. Instant file access. Okay, I guess we're gonna watch these. <clears throat> uh, cornerstone. Clip D141. Okay, let's, let's watch it. Let's go. You think it's matter? I mean, clearly it's matter. What can I do to help? Murder? Was it Dumbledore? Yeah, that's me. But February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Simon's murder. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay. So, right now, uh, since Colgate has an idea of what this game is about, should I go ahead and cover the first few lines of chat? Just, just, uh, standard spoiler rulers? Rulers? Standard spoiler rulers? What do you think? I think this is a game that I'm probably gonna get into. So, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have it spoiled. Covering the first few lines of chat, then. It is done. We're on full uh, spoiler watch right now, so if you get dinged uh, with a purge, don't take it personal. It's just to protect my experience. Okay. By the way, uh, for Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3 in a couple of weeks, uh, I spoke to Jen, Jen Denise of Bloodborne Dark Souls fame, and uh, I've decided we're probably not gonna do s we're not gonna do sub only. Because we don't really like, we don't like sub only here. I'm just going to cover like half a chat. And mods are going to have a field day. More or less. If we have to go sub only, we will. But we are not going to right out of the bat. Okay, anyway. Right out of the gate. I mix up all my, whatever. Let's, let's do this. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. That's what guilty people say. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. That's what guilty people say. So... Uh, add the session. Add the session. Add to session. Add to session. What is this? Q history. 
delete session data. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, that's me. But February, I mean, that was months ago. <laughs> What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Murder. So I'm kind of wondering if from here, I've just. Southeast constabulary clock. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. DB checker. One volume missing. Hack.info mirror game. What is this? Cyber Ghost, the legends you've never seen us. One for the mums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime gaming. What is it? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. Read me. Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which, we will, which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable, the most valuable, wait, in the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkits. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the contents of each testimony is attached to each clip. Retrieve a clip, type in a word, e.g. robbery, into the search field, click search, and the database will return all clips to which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words, robbery, supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas. Search for an exact match against the entire statement. Yes, I was there. To store a clip for later reference, click add to session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags to your own for future references. Please use the user tags box for any further assistance. Please contact blah, 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 blah. Really read me. <laughs> this is work. All right, here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get your guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999. And then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97, but figured you would take enough. This would be enough. Take your time. Okay. So. Alright. <clears throat> so can I put, like, murder suspect and get more? Like, Simon. That was the guy's name. Oh! Simon's the guy's name. Here we go. 61 entries found. Access limited to first five. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. <coughs> they do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. No, wait, since, since I've already been conditioned to take notes, I'm gonna watch this again. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, okay. artistic things. Simon really Smith, things. Ernst Brothers Glass. Wrote it down. You have s'mores pie? I'm so jealous. I'm gonna add this to session. I don't know why. I feel like I should add everything to session. Simon. 
Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, yes! I bought a photo. They said a spring photo. Show me the photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Add to session. Okay, good. I can, I can see. Why would it be red? Why would we be restricted to the first five? I guess for sake of of a uh, of a uh, day, month, year rather than month, day, year. Good point. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. What was this place called? It's the Rockington Arms. Rockington Arms! Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. The Rock! Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Making a bulletin board and yeah, that's kind of what how I feel right now. I'm just like taking all these notes Hey Cassetti, what's up? Mary Beth Anybody just joining? How you guys doing? Surprise Sunday cast Agnarok. This is called uh, her story. It's a full motion Kind of murder mystery so far Yes, there's an abstract one no one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, climb the tower, save the princess. That kind of thing. Thank you for subbing again. Uva wahoo! Thank you for resubbing for three months in a row. You're a pal and a confidant. Put that in evidence, or session, whatever. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or... Good to know, Celtic. It some kind of accident. Good to see you here. So what do we do next? Now wait. He's not the type to run off. Let's watch that one more time. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? We don't really, I, I don't really know anything about it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Rockington Arms or Ernst, let's start. Let's start from the top of the evidence that I feel like I gr I gathered from this. Uh, Ernst Brothers glass. We only got that one. Uh, Simon Smith. No. Uh, Rockington Arms. How about the Rock? There we go. There we go. So, it was Friday evening, and we had an argument, he left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. Colgate, I'm pretty sure I'm playing this correctly, right? This, it appears that this I am sitting at this computer just after 1999 because they referenced Y2K, which was the turn of the century. 
Um, the footage is from 1994. However, let me watch that again. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. It does look like you're running Windows 98. Yeah, this, this had to have been right after the turn of the century because they referenced uh, Y2K. Now, I think I'm supposed to use the tags to, to keep track of evidence that's going to be important, but I don't really know uh, how useful that is right now. So for now, I'm just going to dump everything into my clips. I'll figure out how to use that later. Hi, Beth. What's up? Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, I guess The Rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. That's kind of a useless clip. Uh... No. No one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from The Rock. No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from The Rock. Plumber from The Rock. My, my direct instinct, because she mentioned the name Eric uh, on the phone. So I'm wondering if that's somebody that... I look up next. Okay. He was wearing um, a shirt. It's a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. His boss, okay. Mm, he had his coat. A long grey duffel coat. Black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. Eric is his uh, boss at Ernst Brothers. She described what he was wearing when she last saw him, I think. He was wearing um, a shirt. It's a blue turtleneck shirt. Blue turtleneck and, and jeans. jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat. A long grey duffel coat, black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. Did she say blue turtleneck and jeans? I don't know that this matters. He was wearing um, a shirt. One more time! It's a blue turtleneck shirt. Blue turtleneck. And jeans. He has a watch. Watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm. He had his coat, a long gray duffel coat, black pants in there. Okay, we don't have to watch all of them, all of the, all of the clip stuff. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh yeah, VD, this is a uh, kind of a full motion video of who done it, so to speak. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Um, there may be, there may be a way that, like, like, if we're watching a piece of footage and, uh, I happen to, like, mishear something or not hear something correctly and I, I say out loud something like, did she just say, did she just say, like, like, for instance, when I just said, did she just say blue turtleneck? I think that's fine for you guys to, to go ahead and be like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Spe like speculation if you've played the game though uh, 
we could, we could probably do without that. Um, just trying to think of some some general uh, backseat rules because uh, I don't want people to go ham, but I want this to be. If if people haven't played this and they're kind of into interacting as well, I, I want to be able to share this with you guys. Does that make sense? I don't want to make it too hard for mods either. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier. A Chevy? And a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked in the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Okay. So those are their two vehicles. A Cavalier and a van for work. Add that to the sessions. Because I don't know what else. I'm actually taking notes, yeah. So it's easier for me to write down and, and keep track of this. If you guys just want to watch, that's cool. If you if, if, if I ask a question like, did she just say blue turtleneck or whatever, you know, that's cool. Otherwise, these, this is a blind playthrough. I don't want, I don't want like speculation and spoilers uh, to hamper. And if you get pinged, don't worry about it. It's just a purge to preserve the experience. Yes, that would be in his wallet. What? It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. That's not that important. Uh, I'm gonna write that down anyways, but that's like not that important. In my opinion. Well, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Uh, okay, so that, Eric's wife must be named Diane, so we're gonna look her up next. I need like a fucking dream board for this. My tiny notepad is too, it's not big enough. Eric's wife, Diane. So we're gonna look up Diane, add that to the sessions. Diane! What do we got? Diane is really nice. Diane, she really nice. Glaciers, okay. Organizes the Christmas party, that Sorry. sort of thing. Sorry. They have two kids. Really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. <clears throat> Eric and Diane. Two kids. That that's sort of irrelevant. Uh, add to session. Play. <laughs> Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. So wait. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. This is an important clip. Hang on, there was a lot of sh there was a lot of information there. Steel watch anniversary gifts from Eric. Uh, I don't know that that's gonna matter much, but like uh, my, my brain immediately went to like every year anniversary the has some kind of elemental meaning to it. You know what I mean? So like. Like, the first year you get, like, paper or something stupid. Uh, wedding anniversary, steel. 11th anniversary is the steel anniversary. Um, okay. So, they've been married for 11 years. That's why that was important to me. Hi, Shalulu, how are you doing? Okay, uh, let me watch that again. Let me watch that again. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who No, it was a wedding it. anniversary gift. It has really nice taste. 
time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Where, where, where were you in Glasgow? What? In, Gla uh, in Glasgow. During the anniversary? What kind of a shitty wife are you? What? Okay, add to session. What's this one? This, these are clips about Diane. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come over for dinner. I didn't see it, open wounded. Diane is a really good cook. Into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef. Give me a second. He got the recipe of Cfax. And I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever I eaten fennel? <laughs> Story time. When Skin Teen was a child, her her dad used to make a uh, homemade pizza, and he would put too much fennel in the in the sauce. If he's watching right now, he's probably going, "I never did that. There was the right amount of whatever. Too much fennel for me. My six-year-old tastes. My sensibilities were all out of whack. I wouldn't eat the leftover pizza one day, and I got in a lot of trouble. So fennel is like, bleh. anyway. Open wounded. I will check out Twitter soon. I don't want to get too. Uh, distracted from what's going on here. Um, I think she said a lot of nothing there. Let me watch it again. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. So, okay. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come in for dinner. That would be us returning the favor. Diane is a really good cook into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe of Cfax. And I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I don't know what that is. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? What up, Steam Spark? How you doing? No, thank you. I, I remember, Open Wounded, that you said that. I just, um... TweetDeck does a really crappy job of highlighting tweets to me when I get an influx of them. So, I, I remember that you sent that to me, and I did want to see it. So, I'll, I'll check it out. Because I do, I want to, I want to look at the sloth plushie that you sent me. I want it! Okay. Did I add that to the session? I think I did. There we go. What is... Wait, what? Why did she... Let's... Okay. Simon and Eric arguing? No. I can't imagine they'd be arguing. And they get on so well. What, are you going to play a song for Unless me? Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing, and they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. Why but is she holding a guitar? You should ask Diane. I would love to ask Diane. I have nothing about her. I don't have any information about her. I think they only hired one actress for this. It's you. You're not Diane. So... Okay, my, I, I don't have a lot of information from that. Let me make sure I put it in the, in the session. There we go. I think I need to look up Glasgow. <laughs> Blow and behold, more footage. All right, why were you in Glasgow on your 11th anniversary? What is that about? I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. That is 
some Jody area shit. She just got in her car and started driving. Let me hear that again. So I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. Why? I was so tired. I just had to sleep. Okay. Okay. Next. 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 Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Uh, Jetter Bobby, no, I didn't, uh, watch the BAFTAs, but I heard about the, I heard about just kind of, like, like, people were all up in arms because this woman won an award. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry, mm -hmm. tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Called Simon. I think the only piece of information there is that she called him from a payphone, or so she says. Let me tell you, I have watched. Right, Jade. I've watched. I watched most of the Jody Arias trial. I watched most of the Casey Anthony trial. This is the interactive game for me. <laughs> Kyle Humphreys, how's it going, dude? Called Simon from a payphone. There you go. Uh, add this to session. I don't... Something about her is weird. Uh, play. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. That's kind of a useless... Glasgow was empty, but whatever. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. We know. The streets were empty. Uh -huh. I was driving oh. badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, what? he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. What? The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Hospital visit in Glasgow. <laughs> She's pregnant. Okay. What's up, John? How are you doing? Nobody saw her except a taxi driver. Who apparently she <laughs> she was pregnant. And she hit a taxi, didn't have her license on this, like, long, random drive, and then went to a hospital. All right, hospital. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. She already, okay. You spoken with the hospital? I don't see how it's hard. No, 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 no. Uh, hospital, let's just take out. Hospital, here we go. Ask the hospital. <laughs> Ask the hospital. Ask him what? Was the crazy pregnant lady there? Ask the hospital. Every day. Add to session. Uh... Let's see. Ask the hospital. <laughs> Ask the hospital. Uh, taxi driver. Let's just look up taxi. A police station. <sighs> yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. 
Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. How old are you? The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pitched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. I don't know if that's important other than she has a friend named Eve. Uh, that was kind of a useless clip. I'm going to write down friend named Eve. Friend named Eve may be able to verify sanity of unnamed woman. Unnamed pregnant driving lady. Uh, I want to return to this taxi the hospital fiasco. Maybe she's Madonna. Maybe that's why her accent changed. Uh, taxi driver. No, 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 no. Uh, Alaska taxi. Payphone. She tried to call Simon from a payphone. I don't know if that matters. No. Alaska hospital. Pregnancy. She was pregnant. Let me write that down. I can't forget she's pregnant. Prego. Extra mush. There we go. Okay. Pregnancy. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. So he knew. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Prego her ego. What are you trying to find? Uh, it's a murder mystery. We're just trying to find out the story, more or less, what's going on. Uh, to my... Yes. No! Stop. We're just trying to figure out what's going on at this point. Hannah had a miscarriage. Who is Hannah? This was late in the pregnancy, and we left her infertile. Are you talking about yourself, or...? Felt like the universe said corrected its course. What? We were in line to get. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. What? Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Derek had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Whoa, 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 whoa! Is she speaking about herself in the third person? She's speaking about herself in the third person, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's speaking about herself like Jimmy from Seinfeld. Let's watch that again, let's watch that again. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and we left her infertile. Thank you for subbing again. That was a very poorly timed resub, Miller. God! Thank you for the eight months of continued support. Welcome back. You're a pal and a confidant. Hi, Miller. How are you doing today? Let's uh, let's try to watch the clip again. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy, <laughs> and we left her infertile. <laughs> Felt like the universe had corrected its course. We were aligned again. We were aligned but again. Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Derek had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Hannah is... Hannah is either uh, a previous uh, woman or... 
her. This is getting weird. <laughs> Miller, it's good to see you. Guys, thanks for joining. Uh, by the way, we're... Uh, I read chapters 5 and 6 of My Immortal. I am actually still owed two subs, but I went ahead and preemptively did it. But if we hit the big six, six hundo tonight, I will read another chapter. Chapter, chapter 7, as a matter of fact. Okay, add this to session. I gotta know about Hannah. Thank you for subbing again. This is all new footage. This is all new footage. Chunky Coco, thanks for the... Wow, that's a year. That is a year. Mother of shit. Thanks for the 12 years of sweet subbing. Say hi to front page, guys. Okay. 18 entries. I wonder if the... Wait. I hope the number of entries that are found... Um, is not something I need to be paying attention to because that's a problem. So let's check out what's going on with Hannah. Thank you for subbing. Kiwi Copter, thanks so much for subbing. Welcome to the Church of... Welcome to the Church of Skinned Team. That. Okay, let's find out about Hannah. This Jody Arias woman is really pinging my radar. I have a full page notes. Already. We're moving on to another page. Hannah is either her or a, a, a previous uh, like girlfriend slash wife of uh, the dead the dead guy. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. I knew it. Is Pandre. She's crazy. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it though, it's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. She's speaking about herself in the third person. That's kind of what I thought, Amazing Toaster. That's kind of what I thought. I know that I can't see them all. I just, I didn't know if like the numbers were gonna like, I feel like maybe I should be keeping track of what I'm searching and how many entries, but it, I guess it kind of doesn't matter. Okay, so let me, Hannah Smith. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. It's Pandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. 31 Gladstone Street. Somewhere along the lines, I forgot how to write G. This is good. What's wrong, Hannah? That must be the dot, the the, the, the the miscarried baby. What is this? What? Jody. Jody Arias, come on. Show me show me the Morse code again. Three. One. I can't keep track of that. I can't keep track of that. Oh, 
is 313. I'm guessing that was SOS. Thanks, Ebony Chocolate. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. Luckily, I'm not looking at chat. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not looking at chat too much. It's all right. I don't know why I'm writing this stuff down. I don't know why I'm writing that down at all. I wrote down the amount of taps that she she uh, did here. Taps on desk. I don't know if that's gonna like come back to me later. I'm gonna circle this. That was weird. That was weird. She's weird, man. Okay. Next clip. We're learning a lot about this woman right now. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, she's doing a polygraph. Po she took a polygraph. She took a polygraph. I'm gonna write that down. I bet she passed with flying colors, too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't- this doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it in- in the archive anyway. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. What? The midwife was there to help. What? I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. She's a twin? The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. What? She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. What the? There's a ghost woman in this game. This is taking a turn I wasn't expecting. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this fuckball douche nonsense on a regular basis. Thank you for supporting the Church of Skin Team. We appreciate your patronage.